Yo, Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you. And, yo, we did it, man. We put in work. This is exactly, exactly what I'm talking about when we clicking on offense and defense. First of all, let me just let, let me get into the Minnesota Vikings. Um, number one, the Minnesota Vikings were completely outclassed and outmatched. The Minnesota Vikings didn't belong on the same field as us. I knew that that defensive line was going to impose their will on the Vikings' offensive line. That was the biggest mismatch of the game, and it came through. Um, the defensive line got the pressure, got Keenum to throw two picks, smacked the ball out of his hand. We got a fumble. That's all from pressure from the defensive line. And that's how you win these type of football games. You know what I'm saying? That's how you win these type of football games. I knew we was going to win this game, but I did not see the body bag coming. <laughs> they look like a junior varsity football team against grown men. They did not belong on the same field as the Philadelphia Eagles. Everybody who had us losing this game is a so-called quote-unquote expert. And they're going to do the same thing. Look, 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 man. They're going to do the same thing. They're going to have us losing every week because they think we can't get it done. You know what I'm saying? How the hell are we not a favorite to a Vikings team who won by luck? Number one, to a Vikings team who gave up so many points. That we used what I told you we was going to use what the Saints did to them and do the same thing. We used it. The deep ball. That's where they sweet at. Third down completions, we was crushing them. We were crushing these dudes. We ran the ball effectively. We used the tight end effectively. We used the wide receivers effectively. Nick Foles looked like a man who's probably going to end up taking the Brown starting job. Um, if Cousins leave Washington, Nick Foles is probably going to end up in Washington. Nick Foles needs some money. Nick Foles could be starting somewhere, man. I'm tired of saying this, but for right now, we got Nick Foles. I think Nick Foles and Case Keenan, they had the opportunity to put themselves on a level and not look back, whoever wins this game is going to be on a level that 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 you that that you have to not deny the talent. And Nick Foles stepped up to that plate, man, in a huge way. Um, I always like to give credit to the fam to the other team that we uh, just knocked off. I want to give credit to the Minnesota Vikings for doing absolutely nothing. You came in there and got washed. You came in there and got washed. Y'all jumped on my y'all jumped on my feed, y'all jumped on my channel and said you can't wait to see my face after we lose, but my face is here. I want to see your face now. I want to see what you got to say. I want to see what you got to say. You squandered the opportunity. You squandered the opportunity to host the Super Bowl. Now we're going to make the Vikings home stadium our home stadium when we come see Tom Brady. This Eagles nation, man, it's 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 something in the air. They said it's destined for y'all to win. When y'all got lucky, it's destined for us to win through hard work. Hard work. Hard work. Nick Foles showed up and showed out on a number one defense. What make you think he can't do it to the Patriots defense? Hmm? The Patriots, if the Patriots sell out to stop our run, they're going to get abused. They're going to get abused. The Patriots better treat us with some respect, and we might go light on them. We're going to retire time. We're going to retire time. We're going to have time think. We're going to make time think twice about coming back at 41. We're going to retire time. And I'm confident about this. I'm confident about this, man. We crushed the Vikings in every aspect of the game. I can't even, I can't even pinpoint no plays out. We crushed the Vikings. And Chris Canty, at Chris Canty, 9-9, I think that's his name, the guy that broadcast with CC and Nick Wright and them, don't backtrack on your words now, Chris Canty. Talking about we did what you said we should do. Get the ball out quick. We was throwing 40-yard flea flicker touchdown passes. You can't get a flea flicker out quick. The running back got to get the ball and pitch it back. What do you mean? What do you mean we was getting the ball out quick? On a long ball to Alshon Jeffrey? The play broke down. Nick had to step up and buy a time. Ray Carson went You know what I mean? No, we didn't get the ball out quick. We destroyed them. They didn't get there. They were not able to apply pressure on Nick Foles, and that's what happened. That's the end of the story. They got picked apart by Nick Foles, who everybody thought they could, who everybody thought he couldn't do it. What more do you want? What, what, what more do you want? We gave you excitement. How dare? And there's a lot of haters talking about they, this is a Super Bowl that they might not watch. Why not? We 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 showed you that we 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 gave you excitement. We taking picks back to the house. We getting long balls in. We getting long runs in. That's exciting football. That's exciting football.
That's exciting football. And all these Patriot fans now who are Cowboy fans and Redskin fans and Giant fans, of course, we go ahead, root for the Patriots. Because time keep when, oh, I'd rather time do it again than the Eagles get one. We don't need no more support. We don't need nobody saying they want us to get one. We don't need nobody saying they want us to get one. You know what I mean? Don't jump on our bandwagon now. J jump on the Patriots bandwagon. Fuel that hate. You know what I'm saying? Because we're going to crush the Patriots, too. We're going to beat the Patriots convincingly in the Super Bowl. They too old. Tom Brady too old. He ain't getting it done. He ain't getting it done this time. He ain't squeaking by this time. Tom Brady too old. And he ain't about to beat us twice in a row in our last two Super Bowls. Hell no. Hell no. It's fly Eagles fly. All the way. It's fly Eagles fly. I'm super amped up because I've been saying it since day one. I've been saying it since day one. I like EDP, but EDP said we was done too. EDP, you said we was done too. How you, you, you said we was done. You said we fucked no matter who we play. And now we in the Super Bowl. So you gonna say we fucked too? We got a shot. The hard part is getting there. The easy part is going out there and executing. We got a shot because we there. That's all it takes is a shot. And we gonna take our shot. We're going to take our shot. Shout out to the Eagles for making it to the Super Bowl when nobody thought it was going to happen after Wentz went down. Shout out to the, to the team for just being resilient and a dominating performance. I'm about to go to the gym with my Eagles pride on me. And the Vikings fans that's in my gym, don't wear that bullshit today. I'm going to work out with my, air, my headphones and I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear nothing. Falcons fans didn't come back and show respect. Very few of them did. After all the trash they was talking. Vikings fans, I got like one or two coming back. Oh, 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 oh. every week, oh, but you're not going to beat this person, but you're not going to beat that person. If we just abuse the number one defense, what is that telling you? What is that telling you? Keys to victory will be coming up. We got two weeks of videos to post. We got to get psyched. We got to get psyched. We going to the Super Bowl. And we are the very few and the very proud that believed it. Lord Brunson back at you with the back at you. Super Bowl party at my crib. Possibly I'm still working that out. Everybody's invited. Because everybody, my nigga. Hey, we in a bowl, baby.